some very, very weird gigs. I was at the uh, Byron Peace Day the other day, and um, you know, a couple of politicians paddling on about the importance of the Byron Shire to the Iraqi situation. <laughs> <laughs> And the uh, National Party and the Go YouTube monks are going to knock China into line. <laughs> oh my God. The uh, day is shaped up like most of those Peace Day rallies do. You know, I mean, the amount of friction in the fire and peace movement, I reckon they probably had something we, you know, could contribute to the conflict. <laughs> You would have followed it in the letters column of the Echo. They're our peace flags. No, they're not. They're ours. No, they're ours. Rafting, fascist, want to fight about it? So uh, the traditional owners were traditionally late. <laughs> the mayor left because she didn't want to be photographed fanning the peace flame on a total five and <laughs> Feather Dawn started a uh, chant to send good vibes to the Gaza Strip. <laughs> but the mother would be Israelis wouldn't participate. <laughs> Greenpeace had this uh, huge white plastic elephant there, powered by a compressor, powered by coal-fired electricity. <laughs> It was about you know an hour and a half after we were supposed to start that we finally got all of the politicians lined up in the hall with an audience you know, ready to listen to why the Byron Shire is important in the Iraqi conflict. <laughs> all of a sudden, 25 women in white robes descended on us. Now they weren't pistol virgins; they were the peace choir. <laughs> Holy shit! I thought. I hope we've got enough toilet paper. <laughs> so I'm standing out the front, and the um, boss angel, the boss angel, arch angel, comes sort of waltzing up and goes, "Oh, that's nice, dear. You're going to introduce us, are you?" And I said, "No." <laughs> I'm going to address the assembled throng. <laughs> and she said, no, well that's not convenient because there's 25 of us and we've got to be somewhere in an hour and a half. And I said, yeah, well, there's about 50 people here and they're here to see us and we've been waiting for an hour and a half and I've got the microphone. <laughs> she said, no, you haven't. I said, yes, I have. Anyway, I did what any self-respecting politician would do. I headbutted the bitch. <laughs> so I just want you to remember on election day, vote one for Action Man, the man with the eyebrows.